Now talk about the monies allocated given for uh, the exploitation of solid minerals. Yeah. yeah. What about that? The money. The funds given by the Ministry of Finance, the National Federal Ministry of Finance. 50 million released by the Ministry of Finance to acquire license for exploration of solid minerals in 2008. What happened to that one? I don't know about that. I, I honestly don't know. So about are these responses, this, these are allegations, yes. weighty allegations are yeah. that, that have been well, raised I, I, against no, the no, government. No, no, no. Wait. Uh, there's some things that wait, ought wait, to have wait, been responded wait, wait, to wait, by wait, now. Wait. Let, us, let us also understand one thing. Let us understand one thing. That um, some of these things fall within the governor's tenure. And some of these things fall within the purview of the House of Assembly over the years. They've all along done their so-called oversight function. They have all along passed budgets with a review of the preceding year's budget. They've all along supported all these processes through their lawmaking process. They have all along, why are they bringing some of these issues at this point in time? I have a document here, for example, that says, you know, it was, uh, it says there were withdrawals from illegal withdrawals from yeah, the government account if, in February 2007. Let me jump in. If they are the bringing governor, them in, if they are bringing them up now, yeah. The question should also be: Are they relevant? Are they facts? What they are bringing up? Can they support? I don't think so. I don't think so. No, because I mean, because, if, if somebody read, is have integrity, read, have read, have read, if, if, oh, just wait. a minute. Yeah. If they bring up these allegations against someone out there, who knows that? Listen, look, my integrity is at stake here. I don't. If you go to Abuja and you want to stay seven days, and then someone wants to impugn on your integrity, don't you think any right? I mean, no, people no, will no, also no, say, no, 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 wait a minute. First, I want first, to accept this. I'm going to clear foremost, myself. First and foremost, we are not saying we are not going to clear ourselves. But we, what, we are, what we are contesting in this whole process is the constitutionality of what is happening. Go straight to the Constitution, Section 188, Subsection 2. It did not envisage a situation where people will raise issues just to impugn somebody's integrity. It says detailed allegations. Has it been, they tried to... Detailed in, allegations. Are this detailed. Not, these are not details. These are not details. You just what said... What constitutes detailed allegations? What? How, every, okay. Every, okay, give us a scenario. Now they say, uh, I mean, let's read this one that we read to you just last mm -hmm. one. This 50 million released to him uh, by the Ministry of Finance to acquire license for exploration of solid minerals in 2008. How... Detailed would was, this be was there, to was fit there, into was, was there was there a release by what instrument? So you think that okay, they're supposed to attach so, some some of these things they are only saying them. Sometimes even in government we know that sometimes certain information could just be information as they are. I remember, you know, a few days ago, the speaker himself issued a press statement. I have a copy I have a copy of it here that well, uh, gentlemen, let us not believe that we have declared the governor guilty, you know, and the deputy governor. You, they, they, they're beginning to, to, to look at it, you know, are you saying that just because you said there was a release from Federal Minister of Finance, that that proves that there was a release from Federal Minister of Finance? Is that, did you listen to the, or did you read the deputy governor's publication in the papers, Yeah, his response. Mm -hmm. Why do you, what do you think about them? No, he's okay. Why did they choose to grant a press conference rather than go to the house and clear themselves? No. If they feel they, 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 they the, the deputy governor is a lawyer. The seven, the seven days had lapsed. He cannot, he cannot. But the same section, 188, your side, and he's saying that, well, look, they've got to answer to some of those questions. Hey, the section uh, 188. Says through, they will is it answer through press conference? Served. No, he has not answered. He, he only made his opinion on the matter known. He was not answering anything. Yet he has not been served. He has not been served. He was Wait. only making his opinion on the whole process known. And, and if, you, if you read him very well, what he said is that he was a lawyer and that uh, the tune of the, 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 the documents he saw were not legally proper that the, the process was not legally proper. He raised these issues. Let me tell you, and I am diverting us to something more fundamental, because these things are happening at a time when, like I said, the Air Force grounded plane, uh, the FCC uh, froze account, then the stakeholders made up of uh, 
ministers and co came to Abuja and said, well, they are supporting the process, they are, they are, they are promoting the process. Okay, fine. These same stakeholders who a few months back gathered together and presented the deputy governor as their party leader in the state had not turned around the same stakeholder to disown the deputy governor to tell you that this is this, this, that, this, that. What we are saying is that why have they not had any conference of PDP stakeholders in Adamawa state to say, look, we are gathering here to say, how do we attract federal projects. They are just telling you that there was no this. We had done the Newman Yola Road. We have done the Fufore Road. We have done the, the these are federal roads that the state government did. We did the, the law school. This is a state project that the federal, that, I mean the, a federal project that the state government did. What have the federal government done to the state? Nothing. The only, the only benefit we have is a secondary school for the Air Force. That is all. Why are they not talking about attracting federal projects? Why are they not even coming to have a conference of stakeholders in Adama State to say, look, how do we take care of the refugees that are flowing from Borno and our own people that are being displaced in Madagalia and Michika. Why are they not coming to help us in handling the, the, you know, adverse situations like this? Why are they not assisting us in ensuring this, the welfare and the security of our people? Why are they always interested in, whenever they converge in Yola, it is to bring some political crisis and then they, 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 they disperse. They don't come. But you know, we're talking about law and equity. You know Let that me, yeah. the House will proceed. They've said they, they've to instruct let, let, the let. acting judge to set up a seven-man panel for proceedings, to continue the proceedings. Without, without, without service? Well, they say yeah. they will go ahead. They will go ahead because everybody now agrees with unconstitutionality, with illegality. What do you make of the story then? Iyako loses bid to stop impeachment. No, he did not lose bid to stop impeachment. This is a very... No, 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 no. I'm com I have the judgment here. Okay. What, did, what we did was that, you know, we, we, we went to court to challenge the process. But before we did that, we needed an ex parte motion. An ex parte motion halting the process until we filed the main suit. Which is, a normal, which is a normal legal process. Which is to buy time. It's a normal legal process. Unless if you're telling me it's illegal. No, no, no. We, I'm only saying you're uh -huh. buying time. I didn't we, say we, illegal we, or it's illegal. <laughs> is that not what it is? It's a normal legal process. So we went to court. And then the court said, okay, we will give you one week, listen to you. I mean, and, and listen to the other side before we take, I mean, the, the, the order remains in force until we listen to the other side. Yeah, but and it and, and the, the other side went, and they also went and made their presentation. So yesterday, they vacated the, the order so that the main case can proceed. Does it bother you that in spite of all this uh, proceedings, process, 20 out of 25 members have said, look, they should serve him a notice of impeachment. Yeah. No, it, 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 but, but, they, 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 but they have a right. There's yeah, nothing. There's not, that says there's something, nothing. doesn't it? It, it? it doesn't say and anything. the governor is not... Uh, it the doesn't, no, 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 no. If 20, when, uh, when, if 20 when, out of when, 25... When, 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 when 25 of them decided to pass a vote of confidence, now, it did. It did. It 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 it's, it's on the oh, same. At that the time, the government welcomed them. But it, when it was, it was it's, it's on the same. It, it's, it's still on the same pedestal. They took a decision, and that they, 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 in taking their decision, they have a right to take their decision. Is any governance taking place in Adamawa right now? Seriously, there is. There well, is. There's no are point at which saying, look, there's there is no, no point at which and they're questioning. No salaries, no pay, civil servants. Uh, is, that is, is that true? We're saying no salaries. Yes, because the FCC froze the account. And we would not allow the FCC pay salaries even because the, it's not their job. Even last year, they, 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 there was nothing like salaries not paid last year. It's a lie. I know. Yeah, but when did the FCC freeze the account? This they, when 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 did we not pay salaries? It's just just this June. So what's the next step for the government now? The next step, well, we are in, we are in court, and every other thing now will go by. To the governor, court. will the governor appear before the panel? He cannot appear before the, 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 the panel while the case is in court. It's up to this. But the deputy governor? The deputy governor is not going to appear. He said so. Press conference or no press conference? He says he's not going to appear because he's a lawyer. He says it's illegal. All right, look, I'm Asajo, uh, Director of Press and Public Affairs, Government House, Yola. Thank you very much indeed for coming on this program. Thank you. Thank you. I'm grateful. All right, we'll be back after this. We've got another matter uh, to look at today. So please join us again.